honey, if we ever need to take Lisa to the hospital, how are we going to do it? I know she doesn't have health care. Plus, we don't have enough money. I just want Lisa to have it all, have a good education, a good life. Let's get assistance. Leave no child behind, says the Children's Defense Fund. The Children's Defense Fund mission is to ensure every child a healthy start, a head start, a fair start, a safe start, and a moral start to life and successful passage to adulthood. Today I will inform you on how the Children's Defense Fund helps every American child. The CDF, just three things to remember. The CDF ensures children their access to health care, lifts them from poverty, and provides them quality education. The CDF is the nonprofit organization that has worked over 35 years to ensure a level playing for all children. They focus on policies and programs that lift children out of poverty, protect them from abuse, and ensure health care and education and a good moral foundation. Furthermore, I will attempt to inform you how the CDF helps every American child. And what benefits come from this nonprofit organization? According to the State of America's Children 2008 report, there are 9 million uninsured children in America. That's one in nine. Every 39 seconds, a child is born uninsured. More than 2,200 children are born every day uninsured. Building Miracles is the name of the five-year comprehensive 75 million capital campaign in support of providing exceptional care to all children. Completion of many hospitals will dramatically enhance treatment and healing, drive cutting-edge approaches to child care, and enhance the continuing advancement of medical research and technology. The CDF president speaks out on the National Journal's health care blog, and it includes how the investment of children has dramatically increased over the five past years, with not only um, health care, but education as well, which I will talk to you shortly. Now I will speak about how such funds, just like the CDF, its mission is to end child poverty. More than 14 million children in America are poor. Actually, there are 14,593,837 poor children in the United States. Of course, a number too small of poor children to calculate reliable counts or rates. They are less healthy, trail on emotion and intellectual learning, and are less likely to graduate from high school. Which brings me to an interview I had with Ronald Bishop, a high school instructor. He said, poor children are also likely to become the poor parents of the future. How do we avoid this? Well, Hannah Matthews says, we must take time in informing our families what's out there for them, such as Child Care Assistance. A book she wrote, Child Care Assistance, a program that works, states that Child Care Assistance makes a significant difference in the economic health and security of families. It helps families sustain their participation in the workforce, reduce instability in care arrangements that can impact work, and move out of poverty. Moving on, the policies and funding changes proposed by President Barack Obama, such as budget requests, make it clear that he understands that investing in children now will ensure a more stable economy and a more competitive workforce for the future. Once again, CDS attempt to end poverty. Now is the time to bail our poor children out of that poor, unstable life, says Barack Obama. We've already gone through two benefits the CDF provides America's children. Now it's time to talk about our children's education. The CDF educates the nation about organizations and programs that can help families' income, but also the CDF encourages education for every child. Here are today's statistics. Only 3% of eligible infants and young children, 0 to 3 or 4 years old, are enrolled in the Federal Head Start program. Only two-thirds of those children are eligible for Head Start are enrolled. Only 14% of Black, 17% Latino, and 42% White fourth graders are at reading level. Only 11% of Black, 15% of Latino, 41% of White eighth graders perform at grade level math. According to USA Today, summer school and after school programs, tutoring and internships are essential for every student. 
and provides them the opportunity to advance in intellectual learning. All these statistics are according to the U.S. Department of Commerce 2007 Community Survey. The Recovery and Reinvestment Act 2009, enacted by the 111th United States Congress, was based on proposals by President Barack Obama in the wake of the economic downturn. Edu education was a total of $90.9 billion, which will give aid for schools for um, cutbacks, um, child care, Head Start programs, Pell Grants, scholarships, you name it. It's a good investment. The CDF Emerging Leaders Project trains and connects advocates for early childhood development and education. Many schools have already experienced this project, and it has been a really good project for students for early childhood development, for children with disabilities. It's a really good project. And they network with early childhood development and to sharpen their skills as well. So did you forget? The CDF ensures children their access to health care, lifts them from poverty, and provides them education. They didn't think so. As a review what I've shared with you all, I will summarize my main points. The CDF believes that health care is essential for every child. Therefore, there are many programs that families can sign up for to get coverage or assistance. The CDF's policies, organizations, and programs lift children out of poverty. Its mission is clearly to end the poverty in families, but also give hope. The CDF educates the nation about organizations that can help a family's income, but they also encourage a better education. Hope this presentation has informed you of what's out there for families. Some of us might have little brothers, little sisters. Some of us might be rich. Some of us might be poor. Whatever the circumstances are, let it be known, let us be informed that programs out there exist that will sharpen our future into a more stable economy. Thank you for your time, and for further information, just go to childrensdefensefund.org.